will have more time to get educated on fireworks because <laughs> Murph is out beyond the outfield walls to chat it up. Murph? I am indeed. I'm about uh, 60 yards behind Ashburn Alley out on uh, 10th Street and Philly's Way. And uh, we never know who the star of the game is going to be, but we certainly know who the star of the night is going to be. It's this guy. Say hello to Ken Firstis. Uh, he is the show producer for tonight's Xfinity Fireworks. And, uh, you know, you got a, 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 a stadium full of folks that are waiting to see your show. And uh, you guys have been doing this for a long time. Tell us how long you guys have been a part of this. Uh, we've been doing Eagles about 15 years, and just to clarify, if it wasn't for the people behind us here and the crew, this show wouldn't happen. It's We're a team team effort here. Well, you know, earlier Matt was uh, giving us some information about how long it takes you guys to set up. He said about nine hours, but in truth, it's nine hours total, but about 100 man hours. Is that it? I'd say well over 100 man hours here in the last couple of days, plus probably another 100 man hours to prepare this show. The Phillies uh, go top notch for their fans all the time. All right, so tell us a little bit about what we're going to see. We know that we're going to hear the Philadelphia Orchestra. It's all set to music. Uh, we've been talking about it for a couple of weeks now. Uh, from the looks behind us, it's going to last, what, over 15 minutes? How long is it going to last, and what are we going to see? Just under 16 minutes, and it'll be a very, very powerful 16 minutes, and the orchestra is a great, great venue for the music. So I'm sure it'll be well enjoyed by all. You know, Matt and I are out here, guys, and uh, we're learning so much about fireworks. So, uh, you know, we were talking about, first of all, how high they're going to go, how many different colors there are. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, you know, the details that go into putting a show like this together. Well, first detail, the crew always thinks of. We've got about 20,000 pounds of equipment that goes in and out of trucks manually. But our largest shell here tonight is 5-inch, and it ranges all the way down to low level. We have a lot of special Spanish product here tonight that you'll see on the low-level side, and it's just going to be awesome. Yeah, you said that, uh, you know, you think to yourself, you're going to light these fireworks, but not really hand-lit. I mean, this is all high-tech, right? This show was designed in, just on a laptop, just like everything else these days, on a computer. And uh, all we do is sync it up to satellite clocks for the music, for the fireworks out here. Computers pick it up, and they roll with it. We know it's going to be about 16 minutes of uh, a, you know, a really special show tonight, but to all said and done, how long have you guys been working on this to get this already? It's probably went into production about two months ago. And, and, and then tomorrow night is the same exact show? How does that work? Same show. We usually beef it up a little bit for the second night. Mm. All right, so there you go. So you can come back down. Guys, I know Matt's giving us a, an up-close look at some of the, the show. So what are we looking at right there? What exactly is that? That's going to be the finale you just looked at. That's your four-inch body, and that's all the wiring that uh, it takes to put it in. That's where those hundreds of man hours come through. Well, Ken, we are certainly looking forward to it. We've been talking about it for a couple of weeks. I know the folks inside the ballpark are looking forward to it as well. I remember, guys, as a kid coming out to the fireworks show at Veterans Stadium. Um, my mom and dad would always bring us out on that night. It's always a special night. Uh, I know you're looking forward to it. I guess you can't wait to fire some of these off. I can't wait for it, and we certainly appreciate the Phillies bringing pyrotechnical in. All right, he's got an itchy trigger finger, so I'm getting out of here. But, hey, I, I will tell you this, guys, a little bit of a preview coming your way, uh, perhaps uh, in the sixth inning. You might get to see uh, a little bit of what we're going to see after the game. So we'll send it back to you guys in the booth. And, uh, Ken, good luck tonight. Okay, thank you very much.